It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Eric Church, who announced a big summer tour, not in New York. He has recently played uh, UBS and Madison Square Garden. So he's playing some other uh, sites. The closest will be Homedale, New Jersey. Okay? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, he's bringing out a bunch of different openers, playing amphitheaters, all sorts of stuff. Uh, Thomas Rhett says, you know, he's got a long line of pilots in his family, and he would like to follow in their footsteps. He says, it's on the back burner for now. This is the best. He says, I'm not really detail-oriented at the moment, and you probably need that to be a pilot. <laughs> I would hope that you would need that. Yes, detail. Please be detail-oriented, any pilot that yes. I'm flying with. And it's not unheard of. Many uh, country stars get their pilot's licenses. The most famous probably right now, Dirks Bentley. He will uh, fly himself home like on a Sunday. Uh, let's say his shows are over for the week. He'll get in his little, you know, four-seater, whatever, and fly himself home from the nearest airport uh, back down to Nashville. Um, he did that when he performed for us at our amphitheater oh, back in the day. Yeah, so. Nice. Um, Candy, incredibly sad news. A guitar god passed yesterday. Jeff Beck. Ooh. Yep. Jeff Beck Send at 78. Shivers down my spine. Um, and not from normal health reasons. He uh, contracted bacterial meningitis. Oh, now how do you contract that? I don't know the details. Um, he was, of course, part of the Yardbirds and then even bigger as a solo act. And, uh, you know, was recently on tour with Johnny Depp. You know, they played yeah, together. Yeah, no. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, One of the greatest guitarists of all time. Incredible. Just uh, amazing. Yeah, quite the uh, long history and passes it. Uh, 78. Um, Carol Cook passed at 98. And you may say, Who's Carol Cook? That's right. Well, most notably to the general public, you may know her as the grandmother in 16 Candles who gropes Molly Ringwald. Oh. Uh, but she had a long career from Dynasty to you know, many TV shows. She was very close with Lucille Ball. They were like ah. best friends. Nice. Uh, Lucille Ball basically kickstarted her career, and she was a huge Broadway star. The second lead cast in Hello Dolly. Uh, she was in 42nd Street. I mean, a ton of stuff. The lady got around. She really uh, was amazing. 98 years young. Yeah. Wow. Um, Michael Flatley, the Riverdance guy, he's been diagnosed with an aggressive form of cancer. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't have uh, the exact details. He's under doctor's care, and it's about all I know at the moment. Um, I'd love to get a comment from you on this. Prince Harry. Can we call him Prince anymore? I'm going to start calling him Harold, like his okay. brother. <laughs> okay, Harold sold 1.4 million copies of his memoir on the first day, and that is a publishing record. I, 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 is this internationally or just here in the United States? My gut would say international. Well, I'm not buying the book because I think I've heard about <laughs> everything that's in the book, right? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. I'm... We've heard a lot. Yeah. Uh, Rachel Ray, wait, do you have more? Do you have more on Well, Prince when Harry? he was on Stephen Colbert, uh, they were, there was like groupies screaming, Harry, Harry, Harry. Did you see that? <laughs> no, I missed like that groupies. one. Like groupies, yeah. Mm -hmm. Missed that one. Um, Rachel Ray, her show looks like it's over after 17 seasons. Oh, what happened here? I don't know, but she I'm okay with that. It. I'm okay with it. Listen, she doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. She's the person I got my buffalo chicken chili recipe from. Well, while I appreciate that, is it okay that I never really liked her much? Well, you know what's funny is Evan went to see a Rachel Ray show being taped or live, whatever they were doing back in the day before the pandemic, and he said she was so mean off air. I believe it. People couldn't believe it. I get a uh, bad vibe from her. I do. Um, yeah. So anyway, I enjoyed the show while it was on, but I'm okay if it goes. I haven't seen right. it in quite a while anyway. Harry Styles suing online sellers who were uh, trying to sell fake Harry merchandise to his fans. Oh, we don't want fake. 
No, and there's a we lot. Want the real thing. Well, right. And listen, there's a lot of people who sell fake stuff of a lot of artists. Good for Harry for fighting back. I like that. Absolutely. He does something to me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you and everybody and else, okay? I know what he's got the it factor ten times over. He does something to me, okay? <laughs> he does something to everybody. Uh, Candy L. DeBarge, remember Rhythm of the Night yes. in the 80s? Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's great. Song. Arrested in California on drugs and weapons charges. Oh, yeah. that's never good. Bye bye, El DeBarge. Um, oh. And finally, Naomi Osaka. Bye bye, Naomi Osaka. She uh, not only pulled out of the Australian Open, but she announced she is pregnant, Candy. Oh, look at that. Well, congratulations. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, so that could be. Will the uh, baby come? Wait for it. Tumbling out. Um, why tumbling? I don't know. You know, she's a tennis know. player. I do. I just realized that now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Will the doctor catch the baby with a forehand joke. or a backhand? Yeah, there I you go. All right. I, that'll work. All right. Listen, you tried, Candy. All we can I do did, is I try. try. Yeah. That can't be funny all the time, you know. Uh, TV tonight, ABC Celebrity Jeopardy. Peacock with a new reality show called The Traitors. These people are put in a Scottish castle uh, to fight for a quarter of a million dollars, and three of the people are there to steal the prize. Um, Law and Order, SVU, Organized Crime, all three of them in a row, and CSI Vegas tonight. There you have it. You're bald and the beautiful everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we are going to get rain most of the day. Wind in the 50s, but windy, rainy. It all ends Friday early afternoon, and then we clear out Friday uh, later afternoon, Saturday, Sunday, into the holiday. Monday look to be clear and in the 40s, so we will like that. I'll take it. Sounds good to me. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.